This is what you do when you started as a kid bouncing in a puddle because uh, you like to see the splash of the water and then slowly over time it just gets uh, you just get higher and higher and you make a bigger and bigger splash 200 feet into the air only to jump off into water. If you tell someone you're a diver they don't know if you're talking about a scuba diver or a diving board diver, triple flip whatever you call diving maneuver and then land without a hint of a water splash which by the way is the antithesis of what you started doing as a kid you wanted the splash you enjoyed the splash you wanted the splash to be as big as possible and then of course like adults we go ahead and ruin it all kinds of creatures do this humans do this fish do this birds even do this we got us the old blueberry and cherry or whatever you call these lights. They got somebody pulled over. You got them straight to the other side of the car. But I'm pretty tired. I don't think I could do any diving right now. You got cliff divers. Now sometimes the cliff divers, they'll go feet first because that makes a lot more sense. I get a little self-conscious when I'm driving and there's a car right next to me and I'm over here talking and they can't see anybody else in the vehicle so maybe they think I'm on the phone. At least I hope they think I'm on the phone. Otherwise, yeah, I'm a crazy person and I'm talking to nobody, which is actually the fact because I'm not on the phone and there's nobody in the car. But sometimes them stocks will dive like a cliff diver. Now we try to do like the birds do and we'll get up into an airplane and uh, that's already flying and then we jump out and try to fly even more like a bird. Or a squirrel, but we call it skydiving because we're doing like the birds and we're diving out but then we turn into not like birds real quick when we get closer to the ground. Uh, you plummet for a little while and float around and uh, be like a flat pancake for a little bit in the windy wind. Come down, what's going on with this smoke up ahead? Hold the phone, we got us some gray smoke up ahead. I don't know what that's from but that's not normal. Just think, an Olympic diver could have dove in the water and splashed it around and had it on the towel and everything else and then it evaporated eventually went up into the atmosphere and then storm cycles went through and eventually that water and that moisture, whatever it is, it got brought over to wherever you live and it rained right back down on you. You've been uh, running around with an umbrella blocking all the Olympic pool water. If we were all any good, we would stop our cars right now run outside and jump around in the puddles. Instead, we are running around, driving like crazy, trying to get home so we can do all the stuff we got to do so we can run around, be busy the next day, and we'll come and get the job and an appointment. Can't see anything with this truck right here. Look at that. He's just washing me out with his big old tires. I've got to move to a small town. Now, if you want to really dive, we could add one more to the thing that we were talking about earlier. You could skydive then parachute, then cut the parachute, then dive, and this whole thing can take place while you're in the rain. And then once you land in the water, you land yourself directly on the back of a dolphin, and he shows you some stocks that are dropping in the back. Let's really dive into this topic a little bit. Hear me out. I know we're... we're, we're you wake up. You get up in the plane. You dive out wearing a dolphin costume, of course, or maybe a bird costume. Uh, your parachute opens, uh, you get low enough, you cut the parachute, you land in the water onto the back of a dolphin, and you dive down and he shows you a, a stop, and then while you're underwater, you eat at one of the worst underwater restaurants that's ever existed, and that's why they call it a dive. You dive into a conversation with uh, probably some kind of mantis or whatever uh, the most conversational aquatic creature happens to be at the time. It's, since we're down in this underwater restaurant, you know there's going to be a window, and outside that window is going to be uh, the opposite of an aquarium. It's going to be a dry area with people in it. The hest! And I don't know what you, a fish, would drop into a human aquarium or a, a terrarium, I guess is what it would be. Probably cheeseburgers, and they're not gonna give them seafood because that would just be a conflict of interest right there. Coming up to the glass, looking sideways at the fish that are in the restaurant, and then the fish walk, uh, fish, 
ain't walking. The fish are swimming up, looking through the glass, saying, oh, look how cute that one is. Look at him. And then, of course, somewhere along the line, one of the fish is going to walk up to the owner and say, hey, uh, I think one of those humans is dead. And then the, 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 the owner's going to say, well, is he upside down? They tend to be upside down when they're dead. Uh, and then uh, the fish expert that just happens to be there sidled up. Uh, he's going to be saying, uh, well, no, that's not how uh, humans are. Sometimes they're, uh, they're just dead when they're face down. Be gone. So all that stuff's occurred during this restaurant, diving into a good conversation with some kind of seahorse. And then you discover that one of the humans in the terrarium is dead and they haven't been feeding it right. So what do you do? You dive into the case like a detective and you try to find out how this human got killed, how he died. You're really diving into the case. I think we did enough of that. I think we killed this joke down to the ground. Uh, we've had a diverse amount of topics covered. Leave it to English to have a word called divers and a word called diverse one letter betwixt them that's any different and it means totally totally different things